Now he joins a cast of other great British actors in a new film, The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. She'll give you 200, absolutely no more, final offer. 1,000 rupees. Pity, walk away. Now walk away. Oh, but... I know what I'm doing. The thing is, I really wanted to buy that. You'll come after us. Do you think so? Absolutely, this is how the game is played. Just keep on walking. He's playing it very cool, but he'll come. <laughs> He's playing it very, very um, cool. 850, 9, 950, 1000. Thank you. Thank you. Bill Nye, good morning. Good morning. You once said to me that the day, you had every day you wanted to listen to Bob Dylan. Every day, if I could see you and Judy Dench together, mm -hmm. that would make the day. Well, thank uh, you kindly. How is it to work with her? Uh, I've worked with Judy about four times, and the reason that I, the final thing that tipped it over for this movie was that she was involved. As soon as I knew she was involved, I, t I went. And uh, it's, there, is, uh, there are lots of good actresses around, and then there's a shorter list which contains names like Judy Dench. And she yeah. is, you do kind of raise your game, and she's, uh, she's, uh, she's touched. You raise your game if you're there with her. It seems to me she brings out, I hope she brings yeah. out the best in me. You do kind of, uh, you, you know, she, she raises the, it, she takes it to another level. You talked about one of the most difficult scenes in the movie for you on a motorcycle. Yeah. And and also because you're no, you're known Bill Nye to be a very yeah. to be a very dapper bloke if I could use some of your vernacular. And you had a couple I'll say questionable wardrobe um, <laughs> choices in that movie. Did Care I? to explain flowered shirts and things? Oh, I see, Judy. I see. Yeah, no, there is some. Uh, I have. Uh, I have some. I'm a fascist, and I have some. Uh, <laughs> I have some theories of how a man should be. Uh, uh, you know, should be dressed. One of them is that this button here, the second button on any shirt, there is no attractive reason for undoing it. <laughs> Ever? <laughs> no, Ever? Never. Never. Doesn't matter in India or wherever you are. It's Eighty six. And uh, keep your jacket on. Don't take so, your jacket off. Yeah. Don't wear a short sleeve shirt. Yeah. Yeah. But I rarely see you with a tie. Yeah, I know, this is a struggle. It's a struggle for me. And I knew I was meeting you this morning, and I knew you'd wear a tie. And as soon as I saw you, you outclassed me. Uh, oh, I don't think so. But, uh, no, no, but ties. was it fun for you to shoot a scene like that? Especially because you're, you're also, your reputation, not a very good driver. No, if you speak about motoring and me to anybody I grew up with, when they finished laughing, that explained that I'm not one of nature's motorists. And I, I did used to wake up every morning thinking, because I've never been on a motorcycle in my life. No. I've never driven one. I had lessons. And if you're going to do a scene with somebody who's having lessons, you know you're in trouble before you start. <laughs> and I used to wake up every morning thinking, truly thinking, just don't let me kill Judy Dench. Because <laughs> if, you, you you, if you kill Judy Dench, you can't go home anymore. You know? No, that's that's right. You could kill the queen and yeah. probably sneak back into the country. <laughs> but yeah, not, not Judy. But, but if you kill Judy, Judy Dench, Dench, it's, it's over. It's forever. No, no, never will you touch you would soil the world. again in Great Britain. Yeah. You'd be we're, stateless. We're glad to say you passed. You did yeah. not kill. There were 16 Dench. takes, and every yeah. time they said, we've got to go again, I thought, this is the one where I kill oh, no. you know, I, I, I wrote the newspaper article where it says, oh. actor Bill Nye was not <laughs> unavailable for comment. <laughs> yeah. The article, though, not the, not the obituary you were planning just in case. So no, that's good. It was just the article. Exactly, yeah. There, this movie sounds fascinating, but the title sounds... Yes. Yeah, no one can get it. Everybody congratulates me on the Majestic movie. Yes. Or the Magnificent movie. It's, in fact, the Marigold movie. There is, a, there is an equation which the longer the title, the worse the yeah. movie. This, this was originally called The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel for the Beautiful and Elderly. Oh. The it, but it's a story of a bunch of very good actors in different ways in their life going to India. Yeah. To a yeah. retirement type place. Yeah, they've all come a cropper. They've all become financially embarrassed due to the, uh, the recent financial crisis. And they, they all respond to a, an advert on, the, uh, on, the, on a website that says that they can live their lives out in luxury in India. And when they get there, guess what? It's not quite finished. And uh, they have various responses to India. And it's, you know, some of them can't bear it. They hate it on sight. And others, like my character, embrace it. And it's, you know. It may be obvious, but do you love acting? It's not obvious, and I struggle with it, and I never know what to... Uh, and it's what, it, 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 Acting is a job where people say, however things that they say, at least you love what you're doing. Yes. Well, I guess I love what I'm doing as, as, as often as you probably love what you're doing. You know, some days are good, some days are bad. I do, in the end, if they took it away, I'd be really, 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 really angry. 
but I don't know if I actively enjoy it every but, time. But what's oh. interesting about your career is just the range of kinds of things you have done, from Love Actually to a whole range of places in which you've played diplomats and you've played dancing spies grandpas. and dancing yeah. grandpas. <laughs> and, yeah. I mean, you've had a chance to sample almost every experience. Yeah, yeah it's a kind of scattergun career. Yes, it's that's very, what it you is. know what I mean? And, they, and, they, and uh, you know, it is like sort of present a moving target. If you didn't like this one, how about this one? Yeah. <laughs> um, but, I did, but really, in the end, I've, I've done whatever's mostly whatever's yeah. been put in front of me. And I've been lucky that I've been able to play a, a wide range of They parts. keep asking you back, don't they? They keep asking me back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, but, you also like a wide range of things. I was surprised we were chatting in the green room and somehow we got, we got talking about the movie Hoosiers. Oh, yeah. You love the movie Hoosiers. Hoosiers. I love, oh. I have, I love sports movies where it goes into slow motion at the end. This is my absolute, I'm never happy. Invincible with Mark Wahlberg, Hoosiers with Gene Hackman and Dennis Hopper, uh, The Replacements with Keanu Reeves, um, the, the, it, oh, any of those movies where the guy, there's a girl, she usually works in a bar, she, uh, he's, he's all washed up, and then, but she still has some glimmer of faith in him. He makes the team, he scores the crucial goal, and then it goes into slow motion, and he turns to the girl in the stands, where and she's sitting. Cheering. And there's cheering. There's cheering. he goes, yeah! yeah! That's when I fall apart, and I love it. Yeah. And Hoosiers is a seriously, and also Glory Road. Jerry Bruckheimer made a film right. about the first black basketball team who won yeah, the championship in their that. first season. Yeah. A true story. It's a great story. I it's a that. great story. That's another one of my favorite films. I love all those films. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Well, Pleasure. you look like you're having a good time on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> no, <we laughs> cheer you on. You got us all fooled. The movie, again, is The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. It opens in theaters today.